exercise 622 shows you how you can do this. And we're going to do this on the hub transport level. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll bail out of here, bail out of here. And we're going to get on the hub transport at the organization level. We're going to select our transport rules. And again, this is uh, exercise 6.22. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to say new transport rule. And we will have... Um, We'll, be, we'll have the dialog box shows up and let us make our transport rules. Come on, Mr. Dialog Box, we're waiting on you. New transport rule. Ah, there we go. We'll give it a name and we'll say no Rolex. And I will enable the rule. Uh, what a lot of folks will do is they will enable or they won't enable it until they have all the configuration done. It's not going to create the rule until the configuration is done anyway. So if you have some reason where we're saying, oh, we're going to create the rules, we're not going to implement them until Monday to get people a heads up and let help desk know, hey, we're going to be doing some special stuff. Then you can create pre-create the rule, but just not enable it. So I'm going to say next. And then we'll say it is from certain people, sent to people, member of a distribution list. These are all of the predicates that we had in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the subject line contains a specific word or the subject body contains a specific word. We're going to say subject line and body has the word Rolex, R-O-L-E-X. Rolex. And if I put in another one like Roll X, where maybe they misspell it so I can get past a filter, uh, notice what happens is, is it makes it an or. So I can put in all sorts of words in here. And what, what a lot of folks will do is they'll set up a transport rule that has the, the forbidden words. <laughs> like we're not going to allow you to have Rolex. Or we're not going to allow you to have vitamins. Or we're not going to allow you to have you know, Cialis or whatever. We can go through and put all those in there. So then I'll say next. And it says, okay, once we match this rule, what do you want us to do? And I can prepend the message subject with a string. I could put in a classification. I could put disclaimers if I want, uh, protect message with RMS, set headers, remove headers. I mean, you have a whole bunch of options in here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to uh, prepend the subject with a string. And the string is going to be, this is probably spam. And I'm going to put a little hyphen so we can have some spacing in there. So I'll say OK. And then I will say next. And then we, oh, I wanted to show you this. Um, if you're going to do rights management, you have to have the, the premium, of course. So we're going to say, now we'll set up exceptions. If it's from a certain person, if it's from a member of a distribution group, if it is sent to certain people, so on and so on and so on. We're not going to set any exceptions on here. And we'll just create the rule. So now we have it. New transport rule. No Rolex comments. Priority is zero. And again, this is... Uh, it's a golf score. The lower the priority, that's the one that gets processed first. It's enabled. And then it says this is what we're going to do with it. So we'll say OK. And uh, we have gone through and we have created a new, role, a new rule. So now if I go in and I fire off my email client, Outlook Web App, we'll go ahead and log in real quick. And remember, this is stored in Active Directory, so it may take it a few moments. I may be too quick here, but we'll see. I'm going to send this to ADMINIST yep, Administrator. We'll say that the subject line is Rolex for sale. Really cheap. And then I will go ahead and hit Send. And we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. Boom, boom, really quick. We'll go into our inbox. This is probably spam. So works out really, really well. Um, let's go ahead and talk about...